Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Little K and this is my studio at Little K Artistry. So glad that you joined me today. I am working on another very special canvas, one of my curved edge rounded canvases. I have recently, I have had a eureka moment. I have finally created a cloud mix that is giving me exactly the results that I have been looking for for quite some time. And I'm very excited to share that with you in the coming weeks. I wanted to show you another example of it with some beautiful pink, and I have a fluorescent pink and some purples that I wanted to try with my cloudy pour. This time, I wanna welcome everyone from all over the globe. I'm not gonna read the list of all the states and countries. I did that in a previous, just a little while ago. But if you don't see your country or your state listed down below, because I do list them all in the information for the videos, if you don't see your particular state or country, please give a shout out. Let me know from where in the world you are watching, because I love seeing where everyone is watching from. It is just amazing to me that the entire world is seeing my little studio. It's so wonderful, I love it. I can't stop smiling. So I wanna thank you all for being so supportive. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do. If you like the content that you see here, I post almost every day, sometimes more than once a day. And I, I have a lot, I have a stockpile of videos that I haven't posted yet. So they were from before I actually started this channel. I was videotaping the, the creation of my pieces for myself so that if I wanted to recreate them, I would know what colors and how I was doing it, what the style was and all of that. Now, you all are just so fabulous and wanting to see them that I'm posting them for you now. But some of them are a little bit older, so they don't have, some of them I'm not talking in them, I'm not explaining the procedure. Some of you like that, some of you don't, can't please everyone. So I was just gonna post to whatever I can that I think is going to be helpful and entertaining and enjoyable for you. And I guess you take what you take and you leave the rest. <laughs> so thank you for the comments, for the s subscription, for all of your wonderful support and recommendations. I read them all. Every morning I get up, I have my coffee, I read the comments and I, and I respond to them. It's just the best part of my day. So thank you all so much. If you watch my previous video, you will see I am completely delighted. I've been trying for months and months and months to create a, a cloud pour that is all my own, that I use in all of my paintings, that gives me the results that I'm looking for. And I think I've finally done it after almost a year. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to do, I believe this is a 16 inch, this is a rounded edge canvas. I'm gonna go ahead and do the cloud pour and then I'll come around behind the camera and I'll try not to make everyone dizzy. <laughs> and I'll zoom in a little bit. If it comes out good, it might end up looking like butt. But if it does, it'll be pretty butt. It'll be pink and purple butt. <laughs> so having said that, I am gonna go ahead and prep my canvas. If you saw in my other videos, you will, you, this is probably gonna be like so redundant for you, but I'm assuming that this might be the first time that you're seeing one of my videos and I wanna make sure that I explain what I'm doing. I am prepping my canvas on the front with flow aid and water. And it is just the flow aid that I get from Liquitex. And I follow the directions right on the bottle, which is one part flow aid and 20 parts of water. So it's mostly water, but what this does is it acts like a bottom layer of paint on my canvas and it makes the canvas a wet enough surface as though there were a layer of paint on it so that when I put the, in this case, the cloud pour paints on it, they will be able to slide around. And instead of the edge of the paint rolling under itself and I, and I lose some of the painting, some of the composition un underneath because it rolls under itself, this way the whole thing moves. And it's like there's another layer of paint, but this way I'm not wasting paint. And, and, I, and I'm really looking for ways to make sure that I'm not, you know, I don't want to put more more paint on the canvas than necessary because I don't want to have to stretch it or spin it off because that's wasteful. And wasteful is bad for the environment and for my wallet. 
And I figure since I'm probably not the only one out there who feels like that, then I would share with you what it is that I'm doing and why. So that's why I'm using the Flow Aid. I use this on a lot of my canvases now ahead of time. So I did put a little bit too much on there. I don't want it to be too wet. I do want the canvas to be just damp enough. But I don't want it to be overly wet because then it will mix with the paints and I don't want that. Okay, now I'm going for a specific look in this one. What I want to do is try and make a bright pink center and then have clouds and then purple throughout. So if I do this right, <laughs> I'm still learning the layering of the cup. I use a paper cup. Some of you know why. If you've seen my previous videos, if you haven't, I'll explain. I like to be able to make a little spout on the edge of my cup where I'm pouring it at the very end so I can get a really nice swirl at the end. If I use a plastic one or one of the ones that has the multiple slots for different colored paints, I can't it won't bend. I can't do that with it. So that's why I use a paper cup each time. And if I fill this, it should be more than enough for this particular canvas. And if it isn't, oops, <laughs> then shame on me. <clears throat> okay, so that's the flow aid. Put that over there. Now, because I'm going for a pink center, I'm going to put, mm, do I want to put, mm, I'm trying to decide if I want to put a tiny little bit of the cloud in the bottom. Nope, I want, uh, but I, mm, nope, I'm just gonna put the pink, okay. I'm, I'm talking to myself out loud, but you're listening. Okay, so this is my mix. All of these paints, and I'm only using three colors on my cloud mix, they all have the same base mix, which is the mix that I've been working on all this time. And then the, the white color has a few other things added in it. And when I release this mix, it'll, it'll be within the next couple of weeks, I'll be sharing all the ingredients for you. Then I'll, sh I'll let you know everything that's in it. So if you want to duplicate this, you absolutely can. In the meantime, it's approximately, if you can see what's going on in the cup there, it's about, I must say it's about a two second trace one and a half to two second trace in the bottom of the cup there. And that's for all the colors. So because I want pink, I think I want pink throughout, or do I just want it in the center? No, I think I just want it in the center. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this pink, and this is fluorescent pink, and it's by Liquitex Basics. I will list all the colors down at the bottom. And I do want my cloud mix right like that. And then next to the cloud mix, this is PBO. And this is Oriental Violet. I'm gonna put that right next to the cloud mix because that's a semi-transparent. And then I'm going to put the Amsterdam, I think that one is Permanent Blue Violet. And then another little bit of the cloud. And then another little bit of that PBO, Oriental Violet, which is just beautiful. And then a little bit more of that purple. And then maybe a little bit more cloud. And then what I might do is a little bit more of that pink on the outside because that might look really pretty too. It most likely will all spin off, but I'm not sure. Okay, now since I don't want the cloud mix throughout the whole thing, I'm going to pour right from where I poured in, because you saw I poured down the edge of the cup. I'm gonna pour right from that spot where I poured them in. Normally I would do a quarter turn and pour from this side, because the cloud mix is right there, but that will mean the cloud mix will come out right away. And I don't want that to happen, I think. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure. So I'm gonna take a deep breath <laughs> and I'll hold my breath. You guys can hold your breath with me if you want, but don't pass out. And then I am going to try and see if I can get a really nice little spiral in the side. It's, again, it might, look, it might look horrible, but say a little prayer.
did it. <laughs> Whew. <sighs> that was stressful. All right, I don't know if you noticed or not, but I, as soon as I started pouring the paint on the canvas, it started sliding out immediately. What would happen normally if I had just used a dry canvas with no flow aid on it? The puddle, first of all, would have stayed more centered. And secondly, it wouldn't, it, once it started to, to expand, it would be rolling over itself so we wouldn't be getting that light pink around the outside edge because that's the last color that I put in the cup. And previously when I've done that, and I haven't used the flow aid or another layer of paint on the canvas, what I find happens is the outside layer, just the, the, all the beautiful stuff that happens on the outside just rolls over itself. And then I lose all that real pretty stuff. And I didn't want to do that this time. I don't really ever want to lose that. Plus there's way less paint that has to go on the canvas when I do it this way. So I spin off and tilt off less which means I get to keep more of the composition, which this is really pretty. I am really liking this so far already. It's just, oh, it's so pretty already, you guys. I'm just gonna spin this a little. I apologize for the top of my head. <laughs> you guys are looking at the top of my head. And then in a second, once I get some of these popped, I'm just gonna kind of let it do its thing. And oh, I'm so happy with that spiral in the middle, you guys. You can't see it yet, but when I bring you in closer, you'll be able to see it's really good. <laughs> oh, so proud of myself. You never know what's gonna happen. Okay. Just trying to get to some of the, kind of like a cake when you have a cake before you put it in the oven. And you, my, <laughs> my Nana always just take her cake pan and, and drop it like, like that on the floor and I'd be like, what is, what are you doing? She was bringing the bubbles to the surface, which I get now because I do that when I make a cake, which is very infrequently. <laughs> I'm spending so much time painting now, I don't have time to bake. But I do find when I cook, <laughs> I'm always like doing swirls and I don't know <laughs> if you can relate. If you do fluid art and you're like, <laughs> Like you, you have, I do it all the time. I'll make something and there'll be like a sauce or sometimes with my coffee in the morning, I pour my cream in and I have to make sure I do a little swirl and I'm like, oh yeah, it was so weird. I don't know if any of you guys do that. Please tell me I'm not alone in my, <laughs> in my weirdness. If I am, that's okay. I don't mind. Okay. I'm going to spin really quickly once just to spread it out a little bit and then just see where we are with the composition. <sighs> what do you guys think of this? I love the swirlies. So if you're watching this and you're really liking this effect, then you may want to try this, this mix. Okay. Wow. Uh-huh. Me likey. Me likey a lot. I have a few more bubbles than anticipated because I did not let them sit, the colors sit overnight. But I'm finding that I'm kind of liking the little speckles throughout, especially the dark colors, because to me anyway, it kind of reminds me of like space or a galaxy or something like that. Did I spin that way last time? I can't remember. So I'm gonna spin this way this time. Ooh, 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 that is so pretty. Oh wow, I really like this. 
Not what I was expecting, but I love it. That pink center is so pretty. And I think what I'm going to do, I am going to do this color. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, I am going to do these colors again. And I think what I'll do is instead of a swirl, I'll just do a straight pour and see if I can get a really neat, like a pink puddle. I think I see something. Okay, so here's a little bit of something that I've learned in, in watching how the paint acts on the canvas. Every time I see, I don't know if you can see this or not, but there's like a, a V right there. Anytime I see something like that, that's not a, that's not something that would naturally occur. So that leads me to believe there's something in the paint right here that's stopping it from moving in that one spot. And there does seem to be something right there. It's not, it's not a bubble. So there's a little something in the paint. So if you look out for unnatural lines like that, then it will usually give you an indication. Oh, there's another thing. Looks like it might be a bug. It'll give you an indication that there might be something on your canvas. So then all you have to do afterward, just kind of follow the line and then bring the design back where it was. And then you can't even tell there was a bug in there, can you? Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> Look, everybody's watching this, right? We can see it. We know there was a bug in there. Okay, I am trying to decide if I should spin it more or leave it like this. I really like that pink with the purple line. <laughs> so pretty. Um, I think I'm gonna spin just one more. See if we can stretch it a little bit more. Oh wow, this is so pretty. Oh, ooh. What do you all think? Do you like it? And as it's spinning around, I'm thinking it looks a little bit like a shell. I'm going to see if I can figure out what the composition, which way is up. And you can let me know what you think, which way is up. I like it with the tail at the top. So I'm going to say your view, what you're seeing right now, that's probably, this is the top and that's the bottom. I think. What do you think? What do you guys think? I am so loving this. Yeah. So pretty. <laughs> you guys like it? Drop a comment. Let me know what you think of this. I'm going to come around there and bring it in a little closer. I will try not to make everyone dizzy. I don't want to give you all vertigo. I'll try and hold it as steady as I can, but I really want you to, to see these, the first of all, the center. I'm very proud of that. But these, the lines where the pink and the purple and the white are blending, super cool. Oh, and turn off the overhead light so there's no glare on there. Hopefully there's no glare. Okay. Let's see if I can get you all a little bit closer. Sorry for the noise. All right, there we go, guys. What do you think? Look at that perfectly spiral center right there. <laughs> so proud of myself can you tell and then these lines look at those cool lines in the spiral pretty neat huh are you guys liking this as much as i am i am really digging this fluorescent pink with the purple oh i think it's super pretty mm-hmm Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Oops. I'm sorry. I'm bouncing you guys around again. I'm so sorry. There we go. Back to where it was. Sort of close to where it was. Okay. Awesome. I look forward to your comments. Let me know what you think. If you like this effect, I am going to be sharing this entire mix. And like I said, all of the colors, even the white cloud mix, are mixed with the same base mix. And then I mix a couple of other things 
in with the white. And I will be sharing that very soon in the next couple of weeks. This one's going on my wall. <laughs> all right, thank you so much. I look forward to hearing what you all think in your comments. Let me know from where in the world that you are watching this. And if you like it, if you would like to see more of this or a different color palette, or if you have ideas for, I mean, I've done a lot of different styles. And like I said, the painting is for me, the videos, the channel is for you. So if there's something that I've done previously that you'd like to see again, maybe in a different color palette or a different style with the same color palette, whatever, if you've got an idea for something that you'd like to see me do with any mix that I have here, drop a comment below and let me know what that is and I will see if I can do it for you. I, I want this to be entertaining and inspirational and really safe, happy, uplifting, fun, artistic, creative space for you guys, as well as some education too, in case this is something that you really want to try and you want to learn how to do it. And I want this to be a real fun space for you to learn. And if you have questions or if you're struggling and you need some assistance or whatever, what you need some advice, whatever it is, just let me know. I'll do my very best to help you out. And there are other people who are following who can read the comments and help you out too. So do that. But in the meantime, drop a comment. Let me know what you think of this video. I so appreciate you being here. Thank you so, so much. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And remember, this is little K just saying, go make the art. Have a beautiful day.